Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to identify the first max state, second max state or third max state based on your requirement. Now let's say for this particular uh, segment that I have over here, I want to identify the latest date that I have over here. For example, for consumer, the latest date is 9th Jan 17. That is the maximum date or the latest date that you can call for this particular segment. However, if you want to identify what is the second max date or the second latest date or third latest date for this particular segment, if I have to identify my second or third latest uh, date, then uh, the third latest date in consumer category is 6th of Jan 17. So I'm going to teach you how you will be able to get the second, third or fourth uh, date uh, by using a formula. So let's get started with this tutorial. Now you can use different formulas that are available to identify this for uh, in this scenario i am going to use the large formula that i have over here before that let me just uh, format this into the right uh, font uh, okay i'm gonna type in over here i'm going to use the large formula so what the large formula does is you here you will have to enter the columns or the rows that you're trying to identify i'm gonna press f4 over here comma and this takes in two arguments uh, and then you can type in one over here and see what happens. So when I when you type in one, let me just format this to date. Okay, so when you type in one over here, it gives you the latest date which is available in that particular column. Uh, if I change this to let us say to February 9th, I'm going to get February 9th over here. Okay, however, and if I go and change this value to three over here, I'm going to get the third latest date in that particular column over here which is 6th Jan okay that is what I'm getting over here so you can use this formula to get up to three latest or max states which are available in that particular column now the next let's move on to the next section of the formula wherein we will have to add in a condition that we want to know the third or second latest date for this particular column as a condition right first we want to know what is the second latest date for the segment consumer so what we will do here is we will multiply or add in a condition first of all let us get rid of the uh, uh, the number that we enter over here and add in another bracket over here and close this okay and then we will multiply this with a uh, open bracket enter two hyphens and then open bracket again and then over here we're going to enter the uh, section here which we're trying to compare with press f4 to log the values is equals to i'm going to say b2 this is the value over here okay and then i'm going to close the bracket once uh, close the bracket again close the bracket again over here we need to enter another bracket so basically uh, what we have is in the first section we have three open brackets and then at the end we have three open brackets and then over here now we enter the value for the large which is first second or third value i'm going to press second value over here close the bracket and make sure you press Control shift and enter and confirm this particular formula over here so as you can see over here we're trying to identify the value for consumer and we're looking for the second latest date and the second latest date for consumer is 7th Jan. Likewise, if I go this and change the value here to 3, I'm going to get the third latest date for consumer. Okay. And now I can simply drag this formula over here all the way down to identify uh, the dates for the other uh, categories as well. So all these are consumer. The third date is 6th Jan. So it's all same. Now, if when you come to corporate, we don't have any other dates other than uh, just this particular row over here. So the this values are blank same thing for office however we have the second row for office so if i change this value to two here i'm going to get this second latest value for home office likewise for consumer which we have identified over here itself that is the third sixth gen so this is the formula which you can use to identify your second or third max date or the latest dates available in your data set so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials